Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and today we're going to be looking a little bit uh, at another module. For the most astute of you, you see it, I already have it installed. Uh, yesterday, while I was uh, doing the tutorial on how to get the PDF to Foundry module, which I'm going to be linking in the corner, also um, referring to an older tutorial of mine, that process actually works on that one if you want to uh, map images to your bestiary uh, compendium. Uh, also learned. Uh, after the overall result with uh, importing the agents of Edgewatch, I didn't really like on how the actual adventure journal did look. So I decided to look for a what would most call a fix. This is going to be a very brief tutorial and should have been implemented in a previous video, but I did not know at the time about this module. Okay, so the module in question is Split Join Journal by Toasty. As usual, you simply hit install module and search it simply or go directly on the GitHub page and get the, the JSON file. With that in mind, I'm simply going to be launching the same world I've created yesterday. So you'll see exactly what I'm going to be doing. I already did the chapter one and I did notice some unfortunate uh, stuff, but I don't think the module is at fault. Here is, I believe that uh, Foundry creates something very, very alphabetical. In that idea, let's create a folder chapter two um i'm gonna create like uh, a small journal folder where everything from chapter two is gonna be included and by the end of it 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 is supposed to be look uh, looking a little bit like this um uh, doesn't look to the same quality as the premium modules however in the meantime, up until we're going to be getting uh, on uh, all adventures, premium modules, this will be uh, what I would consider a very valid alternative. And with that in mind, um, let's simply continue. Uh, you see, I already created chapter one and everything is here. Sorry, I scrolled a little bit too much and I'm simply going to be doing the same. I'm going to be adding everything from chapter 2 into the chapter 2 folder 5, 6, 6, 7 it's a little bit time consuming but I will not say too much okay this is a short sap, uh, chapter and the next one also okay so now we have everything in chapter 2 already here. We're simply going to be right clicking and join journal pages. As you can see, chapter 2 is already created here and we're simply going to be uh, click on that. For whatever reason, it, it does indeed join the journal, but it does not order them, at not even in the folder structure, which would have simplified quite a bit of things. However, we can do that very easily manually by dragging and dropping. So, C12, uh, C1, C11. This is going to be taking me, I would say, at most one minute. Okay, hold on. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Interviewing the lab laborers is at the end, if I remember correctly. And I think that's it. Let's double check. Okay, I'm missing a four. There you go. It does contain all of the information. Just keep in mind, if uh, you are to use this specific module it does create a copy of uh, everything you have in here in that idea do not delete these as pdf to foundry does still use the same journals uh, let's view scene 
And unless you want to remove um, uh, remove the journal entries and adding this specifically, like this, actually, let's see. There we go. It, it can be done. It does not take uh, much, much time. So it needs a little bit of elbow grease. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do consider uh, liking and subscribing as it does help the channel greatly. And I will not go for, through the whole YouTube spiel. Also, I do have a module that provides trade goods that you can actually set up uh, in marketplaces, provides a, a, uh, a ton of trade goods that are both compatible for 5e and um, uh, Pathfinder. Wrong one, save and return. Uh, that are compatible with both D&D and 5e and provides you a little bit more trade goods that can be used in multiples, uh, multiple ways. Uh, another thing, it has description. Uh, descriptions to all of the items so you can provide a, a, um, a little bit of more detail that where it comes from the wall i will provide a brief example just now and uh, you can provide to players different items that they can use um, however they want it all they also can be used for crafting i'm going to be showing a very quick uh, uh, example for example you have Electrum as a block and it does provide the description of how it's created and manufactured. Hope someone will find some use to it. That being said, once again, thank you for so much for watching. I do apologize for the self-advertisement and I do wish you a wonderful rest of the day. But I do hope you enjoy my module. Bye-bye.